time now is 647. You're taking a live look over Mount Clemens. Looks like it's a little bit cloudy from that view. Sunrise is happening at 651 today. Something to look forward to. Let's bring in 7 First Alert meteorologist Hallie Vogel, who has warned us it's going to be a little hot and sticky today. It is, and we're already feeling a little sticky this morning, even though things haven't really uh, heated up much. We do have a few showers out there. Isolated thunder certainly possible over the next several hours. We get into the afternoon. A few more of those with the heat and humidity may pop. And any chance for those storms to uh, reach a severe criteria is limited, but not impossible. We are in a marginal risk, which means an isolated strong to severe wind gust will be possible, maybe even some hail and heavy downpours. And this leads us into this hot and humid stretch for days to come through actually about midweek with an unsettled weather pattern each day until then. Our radar showing again a few of these random showers, isolated thunder. Most of it is just rain. I have lightning tracker on currently not picking up any lightning, but some heavier rain between Grafton and Flat Rock moving toward Newport. And this is pushing off to the south and east about 30 to 35 miles per hour. East Point up to Mount Clemens, a cluster of heavier downpours just north of Detroit. So you're seeing the clouds, of course, when you look to the north. 67 degrees in Ann Arbor, 68 degrees in Pontiac, and it is 58 degrees. A little cooler for you in Port Sanilac, but everyone experiencing the higher dew points compared to yesterday. So those dew points in the mid to even pushing upper 60s is tough because it feels humid at 60 degrees. Anything above that is muggy, and then some of us will just call it miserable once we get close to 70 degrees with the dew point, and it looks like we'll get there, at least come close, if not surpass that as we get into the afternoon and evening. Combined, of course, with the temperature in the upper 80s. It'll feel much like the 90s and this stretch continues not only feeling like the low 90s, but mid to upper 90s, maybe in close to 100 degrees of heat index by Tuesday. I wouldn't be surprised if we get some of those weather headlines coming for the heat here in the coming days. Hour by hour forecast shows a lot of us will stay dry today. The exception one or two, maybe several of these showers kind of popping up from time to time. Again, pretty typical when we have this type of pattern. We have a warm front draped across lower Michigan south of I-94 and and just enough instability with the humidity and the heat to pop a few of those. Now you notice there is that marginal risk though and extends from Jackson to Detroit down toward the state line near Toledo. That is for a damaging wind gust or some hail. Tomorrow, things look fairly quiet. There may be one or two sprinkles or showers overnight into tomorrow morning, but the kids headed to school tomorrow. Pretty decent. It's just going to be hot. It's going to be sticky. We look to Tuesday. This is where the changes come. We have the warm front and then the cold front coming. And with that said, we have a slight risk for severe weather. That first round needs to be timed out a little better, but forecast models are showing we may see that first round, first half of the day, and then pull in another round later on Tuesday into early Wednesday before it moves out and then temperatures start to drop a little bit behind it. But it is hot today. Temperatures at least in the mid, if not upper 80s. Just wanted to show you for the kids going to school tomorrow, the heat index. So temperatures around 90 with a heat index in the low to mid 90s, even higher on Tuesday. And then it looks like things quiet down toward Thursday.